welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be explaining the different phenomena related to liquid dielectric breakdown the first theory that is known as suspended particle theory suspended suspended particle theory particle theory let us see what is suspended particle theory and how you can explain liquid dielectric breakdown by using this theory suppose you have liquid dielectric material let permittivity of liquid dielectric material that is known as epsilon 1 that means your liquid dielectric material it is having the permittivity that is known as epsilon 1 liquid dielectrics liquid dielectrics suppose there are different cases first case case number 1 case 1 some amount of solid dielectric material that means some kind of dust or any kind of impurity or any kind of paper particle or wooden pieces uh, those kind of things are known as uh, solid dielectric material or solid impurities for example i will be calling uh, solid impurities epsilon 2 that is the permittivity of permittivity of solid impurities solid impurities that means in the first case uh, solid impurities. Solid impurities are present inside the liquid dielectric material. Solid impurities are available or presence of solid impurities in liquid dielectrics. That means presence of presence of solid impurities impurities in liquid dielectrics in liquid dielectrics first case at that time what about the permittivity let epsilon 2 epsilon 2 that is the permittivity of solid impurities epsilon 1 is the permittivity of liquid dielectrics obviously we can say epsilon 2 greater than epsilon 1 okay this condition prevails whenever you are applying high voltage over that particular liquid dielectric material what will happen there will be high electric stress high electric stress high electric stress or you can call force high electric stress or force that will be directing towards that will be directing towards uh, solid impurities that will be directing towards solid impurities solid impurities why because solid impurities having high permittivity high permittivity so that electric stress will be directly moving towards solid impurities that will be resulting uh, the entire dielectric breakdown as a result uh, the liquid material is getting conductive. Liquid dielectric material is getting conductive. That is the first case. Moving on to next case. Case number 2. Case 2. Let epsilon 2. I will be calling epsilon 2. Epsilon 2 is the permittivity of gaseous bubble or gaseous material or gaseous impurities. Epsilon 2 is the permittivity permittivity of gaseous impurity gaseous impurity so gaseous impurities are present inside liquid dielectric material so epsilon 1 uh, permittivity is a permittivity of liquid liquid dielectrics liquid dielectrics for the second case what will happen for permittivity so epsilon 2 is the permittivity of gaseous impurity epsilon 1 is the permittivity of liquid dielectric material so in this case epsilon 1 exceeded by epsilon 2 epsilon 1 is greater than epsilon 2 as a result whenever you are applying high voltage you are applying high voltage okay you are applying high voltage that results what will happen whenever you are applying high voltage uh, electric stress high electric stress high electric stress that will be moving towards where liquid dielectrics that will be moving towards liquid dielectrics as a result uh, the stability, the stability of the liquid dielectric material is getting changed. Moreover, the liquid dielectric material is getting conductive. So, dielectric breakdown will be taken place. This theory is generally known as suspended particle theory. So, one more information. The total force, the total force that will be generating over the liquid dielectric material that is given by uh, 1 by uh, 2 into R cube. 1 by 2 into R cube it multiplied by epsilon 2 minus epsilon 1 whole divided by 2 epsilon 1 2 epsilon 1 
plus epsilon 2 plus epsilon 2 into gradient of E square where E is known as electric field magnitude of electric field epsilon 1 is the permittivity of liquid dielectric material epsilon, t, epsilon 2 is the permittivity of gaseous or solid impurity then R is the uh, radius the radius of impurity we are assuming here there is one assumption uh, the impurity will be assumed as a sphere impurity will be assumed as a sphere okay that, that is why it is known as the radius of impurity r certain assumption should be made so this is the total electric stress or a force that is applicable to the liquid dielectric material because of this force what will happen the stability of the liquid dielectric material is getting changed as a result uh, dielectric breakdown will be taken place that means property of that liquid dielectric material gets spoiled or getting changed or getting damaged. Okay, this theory is known as suspended particle theory. Hope you understood what is suspended particle theory. Do explain separate cases. Case 1, what will happen? Uh, solid impurity present inside the liquid dielectric material. Whenever you are applying high voltage, what will happen? Electric stress will be directly moving towards solid impurities. The, similarly, second case also can be explained. Gaseous uh, bubbles or gaseous impurity present inside liquid dielectric material. As a result, what will happen? The high stress will be directly moving towards liquid dielectric material. Why? Because permittivity of liquid greater than uh, gaseous material. So that uh, this much of force that will be generating over the liquid dielectric material. This results dielectric breakdown. This theory is known as suspended particle theory. I would like to conclude the session. Uh, thanks for uh, listening this video. Kindly subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you very much.